yeah. Yeah. Well, hello again, guys. Now, it's uh, New Year's Day, and a guy has nothing better to do, you know. Kind of, kind of chilly in here, but uh, I think we might as well at least get a start and get started stripping down the interior. Now, I think in order to do that, I need to take the passenger side door off anyway to repaint it, and that'll just help get the old bench seats out that side of the car. So, I guess I'll start taking off the door. Now, one of the reasons I want to take the interior out is obviously to replace it. I mean, it's, it's been reupholstered before, kind of poorly, and uh, that's failing. All the, all the stitches are tearing apart and so forth. Um, I've got floorboards to redo on the front. Uh, and that's going to open a whole can of worms because really the problem with the floorboards up front is due to a bad windshield seal. And, oh boy, I've really got to replace that and I know tearing that out, that's where, that's where all the night crawlers are going to come in, you know. Um, we've got rust all along the bottom of the windshield really bad here. This is going to have to be cut out and replaced. But you can see all along inside how discolored and rusty the dash looks in there. So I'm, I'm a little bit nervous of what we're going to uncover. But the reality is it's there. You know, we've got to deal with it. I could never feel right replacing upholstery, replacing the floorboards, um, and leaving this because we get caught in the rain. Uh, it's just going to happen again going to get the floor wet, going to rust out. You know, if I don't want to replace this, I might as well leave the holes in the floor so it at least can drain. So we're going to have to do something about that. Before I go any farther, I should show off a little. Um, I drove this the other day, parked it in here, and there's not a single drop of oil on this floor. So, hey, what can I say? What can I say? No, I'm really not trying to be boastful or anything. I was just honestly just very relieved about the the oil leaks. Kind of surprised, honestly. So here we have this vinyl that's been replaced on, you know, and it's just too, too devastating, honestly. And then uh, underneath, we got the original glossy aqua color, or whatever, whatever they would have called it. change oh. got a penny and another penny any more things just got exciting I'm gonna pull my sill plates out that uh, some previous owner thoughtfully preserved with overspray. That was real nice of him. And if you take the time and dig the dirt out of the heads of these screws, not always, but you know, if they're in decent shape yet, that's going to keep them from just rounding off, stripping out your bit and so forth. Now, if your rockers are almost non-existent, maybe a different story no matter what.
at that refrigerant line. <laughs> okay, I think I'm going to yank this floor mat out of here. Oh, another penny. Cha-ching! Anyway, let's see what lies beneath. The old ticker may have skipped a beat or two when I took the, the rear mat off. I was not expecting this level of rust in the back seat. Um, but I think we're mostly okay. Right here I have two, two holes going through. So that piece is probably thin and that would be easy enough to patch. Um, but we'll see. I'm, I'm going to have to obviously wire wheel this whole thing and uh, really clean it up. Maybe we can get by with uh, most of it just resealing. I don't know if that's a hole there or not. Probably should assume it just is. Um, maybe most of it we can just get by with uh, a Pour 15 product or something. Uh, something heavy like that really seal it up and uh, away we go. But uh, you should always you should always err on the side of <laughs> expecting it to be worse, you know. Worst case scenario, and then you're always pleasantly surprised when it's only this bad, I guess. the whole termite fiasco on this wall I still haven't gotten interior tin up I really I really need to do that and then kind of get a heat shield going right now I have John guarding the foam back there I hope he survives these door panels have really gotten beaten up I'd kind of like to save them at least for now. I don't I really don't want to buy new ones of those yet, but uh, we'll see what I can do. Let's 
sadly, this is the better of the two. Yeah, I don't know. I thought maybe a guy could get some contact paper and just put a strip down there, fold all that back under, and at least get it solid again. You know, you'd still see chunks that were missing, but uh, I don't know. So that is. All right, I'm going to get that panel and then we'll get the rear package tray out. All right, some of you may recall if you watched me unboxing a, a shipment from Clark's Corvairs that I bought these. These are apparently these. Uh, I've got to get this clip out uh, and then we got corner clips in the top corner there that hold those in and that just you know obviously dresses up the window there um, but it helps finish out the edge of the headliner and also this package tray uh, this Corvair does not have the folding rear seat oh someone put a slotted screw in that one, so I'll have to get a screwdriver. So we'll just take all of these out right here. That one. Yuck. But obviously, these will have to be painted. You know. I guess you wouldn't have to if you want black around it. But, uh, all right, I'm going to get screws out of this cardboard. I have ordered one of these. And I got light blue. There's so many varying shades. This is what they would have called the aqua interior, but there's so many shades to my eye running the gamut from green to light blue that I don't know what to get, but this looks light blue to me, so that's what I ordered. It is most certainly not green. You know, if they just offered something called aqua and left it at that. Alright. Um, got a mouse nest here. And this came with cardboard supports. Uh, and I ordered, if Clark's offers those, I ordered that. I've got insulation there I'm just going to leave alone because it looks like it'll disintegrate if I even breathe on it. Okay. Time to clean up again. So I decided not to clean up just for just for a bit because I know as soon as I drop this headliner down, 
I have to clean up again. It's always the worst part of one of these jobs is pulling the headliner out. Unless you like that kind of stuff raining down on your head and then it's wonderful, right? Okay. So we'll get this a strip. I said we'll get this stripped down. Um, I don't know. I should have ordered a dome land dome lamp lens. I forgot about that, so we'll have to start putting another list together. I'm hoping about the last thing. The last biggish order for this car is going to be seals. All the door seals, trunk, hood. So, someone put a straight, straight head in there again. I mean, can't you find a Phillips, honestly? But yeah, this thing is just. Well, it's like that. You know. It's like the, the fudge coating on one of those good ice cream uh, not a popsicle, not a fudge sickle, it's ice cream coated with chocolate and it's crunchy and what do you call those? Anyway, ice cream on a stick, I guess. Uh, let's get my A pillars out. Or the trim therein. Well, um, you, uh, you're gonna want to break, aren't you? Yeah, I know you. I know you're kind. Let me get this windlay stuff off. See if we can save on that. There we go. Okay, coat hooks. So these A-pillar trims are uh, plastic, not not metal. My 64 Impala had metal ones. Corvair just got a little cheaper, I guess. I don't know, maybe the more expensive Corvair isn't 65 had metal. Anyway, I don't think so, but anyway, they're more brittle than a guy with a man bun's feelings, you know. Um, so they're just going to completely crumble if I pry on them at all. You can see this right hand one is already split in the middle so I should probably just order two new ones and not even worry about it but I'm gonna leave them on there for now and when I take the windshield out you see there's a, a round sticky rod that they put uh, on the on the pillar itself back there and then they put the glass on it and then they seal it up with sealer windshield uh, sealer so I don't know if part of that is what's sticking this thing to the a pillar but I mean it's it's stuck so I'm pretty sure they're just gonna fall apart um, but I may wait until I get the glass out uh, and see how that goes I can easily get the headliner off without doing that so and here we have more of this crumbly plastic trim you know Yikes. Well, here comes the fun. Doo doo doo. Here comes the fun. Doo doo doo. Okay, are our bows screwed on or just slipped in there? It looks like they're just slipped in there. Pop 
pop them out. Oh. It's time for a mask. Okay, I'll be right back. Well, how is that held up? Imagine with hooks, but I can't. I can't. Well. I can't see and I can't tell, so. This is what we do. Oh, yeah. Yeah. All our insulation is shot. goes without saying. Ah. Hey, this front bow is screwed in with clips. So is number two. Number three is installed with hooks, I believe. That's probably the one you want to start with. And number four slips into holes. It's interesting, there's three different methods going on at once. So I'll get those pulled out. I'll scrape the insulation out, clean that all up. I bet you this header is just full of mouse stuff. Um, not much I can do with that other than using a wire or a long pick and blowing air through it. So that'll be fun. Anyway, was it a year ago or two? It was just as cold and I was doing the same job in the 48 style line. Has to be two winters ago. Well, I decided to see if I could strip down most of the dash. Um, trying to take the instrument panel out right now. Both box I got hung up on. I need a little help because the the little arm that holds it up is not wanting to come out. So I'm gonna have to get someone to help me. Um, I'd like to take the AC box out. Not sure how that works yet. It looks like a lot of problems, but I'm sure it all needs to be cleaned out. Uh, I'd like to get the top top end of this tunnel cover out. Definitely going to need to do that before I start cutting out panels. Um, anyway, I want to I want to get this all stripped down uh, because once I get the windshield out, I want to repaint this. This is all like I showed you in the beginning. That's all cruddy in there at the glove box. It's all rusty. Um, so this is very metallic this dark greenish color. Um, so I want to take either this, the glove box lid maybe work if I cleaned it up a little bit, but get that matched in an aerosol can uh, and hopefully they can do a metallic. They should be able to. Um, get that matched and then just paint this down before we put the windshield back in or here. Might as well. I can redo the steering wheel, cover up the red plastic there. Just, or here, just make it look a little better. So, I just don't know how I'm supposed to get this thing out of there. I guess I need to undo all the linkage, but, but how? I know I need to unscrew that.
Guess if I want to add the tack, now's the time, huh? Probably won't. This piece is plastic and it's holding up well. All right. Well, I guess I will head towards the radio, the vent, the knobs. Some of the stuff really isn't worth taking out because it gets covered up. Um, I'm just going to keep going. See how far, see how long I want to stick around in the cold yet today. Rocky Mountain Rain, keep on calling, keep on calling. <laughs> Where am I supposed to go with this? Down there? I don't think so. Ground control to Major Tom. Come in. Need old radio. Uh, I've pretty much got everything except for AC evaporator and the glove box door. Unfortunately I'm gonna have to drill out some screws on the glove box hinge because they're just completely corroded. Can't get a grip on the old Phillips, you know. So it is 1130 and it's 32 degrees or so, so we've gained 10-12 degrees in here. I mean it's balmy, so that's good. I'm going to go in, get something to eat, maybe spend an hour or so inside just warming up, and then we'll come back and tackle this last thing I want to get out of here today. Um, oh, and the, the plastic kick panels, and, and then maybe we'll call it a day. Be right back. So I want to get these kick panels off. Um, on this left side you can see I've got the, the little grating off already and the problem I'm having you know if I wouldn't have to take the uh, condenser out I'd rather not I might have to do one of them oscopy procedures there I can see the coils down there and uh, make sure it's cleaned out run a vacuum down it or something but the problem I'm having is these screws that hold this kick panel on here, um, they have sunken. Either they were installed and really tightened down, or they have sunken down into the plastic so that you can't grab onto them with a uh, socket or anything. And then, of course, they're tucked up in there behind the evaporator. So... The top one and the forward one especially are really difficult to get at. Now the bottom one, I touched it with the torch, you know, just a tickle of heat and uh, just flame kissed the plastic and that softened it up enough that I could get a bit or a socket on there. It's been working on this one, haven't gotten it so far. How I'm going to, how I'm going to do the other two, I don't know, but if I can get these out of there, then I don't need to mess with our AC. And you can see here how much color has changed. You got the original blue just on the very edge there. And how green these things have turned. It's amazing. These wouldn't have even been affected by the sun, you know. So, very interesting, huh? So I got the right one out. And here it is. Yep, there was mouse stuff behind it. A lot of it. So, glad to get that taken care of before we got driving down the road in a clean interior and, you know, boop, and all of it comes into your face. So, and you can see wherever I applied the old torch, wherever I heat up the old plastic, it turned right back to the original blue. So, Maybe a guy could be careful with a heat gun and uh, do it that way. See, the problem is 
this is that grain textured plastic and you know you try sanding on it the first thing that goes is the texture not the end of the world but if you want to keep that kind of stuff then 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 you got a problem right so I'm gonna try to get this I hope this one's a little bit better You just got little tabs, right? Yeah. Oh, this old plastic just makes me nervous. Okay. And the screws are maybe... Well, some of them are sunk in there. Let me try the impact first. This... Five sixteenths. I can at least see them on this side. That one came right out. That one came right out. That one. And yeah. What a deal. Okay, now I gotta break that body sealer or whatever they put on there. Okay. Now, try this again. survey says oh this one's clean yeah okay very good Okay, I have my access cover taken off, my gas pedal brackets loose, and I really don't know why everyone makes such a big deal out of replacing floor pans. I mean, you use enough silicone and sheet metal screws, they go in pretty quick. I'm just kidding. This, this is dry. So, this is where we're at. I've got a bunch of wire brush work to do on the ceiling and the floor yet, but we'll get her cleaned up. Um, boy, that looks like a rough cut, doesn't it, on that vent hole? Uh, seriously? Anyway, uh, doesn't matter. <laughs> got a few things to do. Um, I don't have a right angle attached for, for my drill, so I can't drill those screws out right now. We'll get that taken care of. Um, what else? You know, I'll take the steering wheel off. But pretty much, we're going to dive into the floor very, very soon. Um, get that cut out. Get that welded back in. The floor for the back, the back seat feet. Um, boy, it's borderline. Um, if this was not my car, if I was doing this work on someone else's, it would be an immediate replacement. I would just buy them and do them. Um, for myself, I mean, there's plenty of structure there. It's, it's solid everywhere. There are some holes through it. Um, I'm going to think about that. I'm pretty sure we could, we could deal with it, but... You know, I, I really didn't want to get into that much more, but uh, we'll take care of it either way. So we've got that to do. Let me turn you around. I don't know if we need the light or not. Ah, uh, you can see. Um, 
then this package tray area and the insulation that is let go you know that should be up there and then this one is the one for the the shelf portion everything is just it, it's had its day it's had its fun in the sun and now it's it's time to go you know um, this one's hanging on there pretty good behind the backrest is probably why because it helped hold it but uh, that stuff you know I can look at the price on Clark's I'm sure they offer it they have everything but otherwise you know if a guy could get hold of some foam um, about the right thickness you could contact cement that up there um, and kind of do it yourself and like I said I bought these cardboard supports um, so that's no big deal and then like I say as for the A pillars you know I'm gonna try to take them out as gingerly as I possibly can this could probably be repaired but uh, boy they're brittle so my hopes aren't high but I'll, I'll do what I can and obviously it's not your problem it's mine oh. hey that's pretty nice actually I could sit here for a while Anyway, guys, I really appreciate you coming around spending this time with me on this cold winter's day. Uh, I seem to always have huge messes in little spaces, so I've got to get to clean it up so I can work around here again. Then I have some other stuff I want to do, so I'm going to say see you later. Like I said, I really appreciate you coming around. If you like this and you are new here, consider going to my channel. There's a lot more you can watch. You can subscribe. You can even join for $2.99 a month and you get extra videos. Hot dog. I could stay here and just not... Nope, not that old. Got stuff to do. God bless you. See you later. Bye-bye.